Yeah, talking about President-elect Donald Trump. He has long been criticized for his use of Twitter. This week, uh, the criticism reached the global stage. China's official news agency criticized the president-elect for his social media use. In a statement, the agency wrote, the obsession with Twitter diplomacy is undesirable. It is commonly accepted that diplomacy is not a child's game, and even less is business dealing. Uh, a former United States Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, said Twitter should be used as a tool for foreign policy, should not be used as a tool for foreign policy. That statement came out after Mr. Trump tweeted, China has been taking out massive amounts of money and wealth from the U.S. in totally one-sided trade, but won't help with North Korea. So uh, joining me now to discuss what this could mean for foreign relations under the Trump administration is Nancy Soderberg. She's a former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. Nancy, thank you for coming on. Good morning. This is a new dynamic for everyone. We've never seen anything like this. What do you think is going to happen after the inauguration in a week or and a half or so going forward? Is this going to continue? Well, I think Donald Trump has so many followers, he's going to keep using it. He actually inherits the POTUS, President of the United States, Twitter account mm -hmm. um, on January 20th okay. when he takes office, so which one he'll keep. But I think the tone is likely to change. Um, Donald Trump has to make the transition from candidate to president, and I think he will. It's a very sobering office when you walk in that Oval Office. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've seen that transition with others, and I think he'll alter the tone. Um, Why Joe do you Biden think that said stop being childish, man, low light, Chinese. Um, he does have to change. I guess my question is why do you think that will happen? We saw throughout the campaign it apparently didn't happen to this point. And why do you think it will happen? And what do you think happens if he still does put out a tweet like this and China's upset and it becomes foreign policy in, in essence? Well, first of all, everyone who has predicted what Donald Trump will do has been wrong. <laughs> so I will preface this statement with that. But um, once he becomes president, uh, there are implications for his comments. The whole world listens to them. The whole world alters. The United States is the lone superpower. So when we move, so does the rest of the world, for good and bad. He will inherit on day one a, a resurgent Russia, um, a strengthening China, a crazy North Korea, uh, trade problems, and a following that expects him to mix things up. Um, how he mixes things up is going to matter. Uh, if he does it not based on the facts and just what he is coming through his you know, mind at the time, that's going to be disruptive. If he does it brilliantly, which I think he's capable of doing, um, then America can make progress. Take Russia, for instance. Russia, clearly led by the president of Russia, Putin, wanted to disrupt the campaign, discredit Hillary Clinton, and help him. That's a fact. And... That doesn't mean that we can't work with Russia, but you have to recognize that Russia is not our friend. I want to get to that right now. Uh, look at this Trump from Mr. Trump. Having a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. Only stupid people or fools would think that it is bad. When you have U.S. intelligence agencies saying they intentionally tried to affect our election through an influence campaign, um, do you think that's a smart move by Mr. Trump to go that route and say, I'm trying to improve relations? N nobody is saying we shouldn't try and improve, improve relations with Russia. In fact, President Obama tried that in 2009 with his reset right when he came to office, very similar to what Donald Trump is hoping to do. It did not work because ultimately you can have the best relationship uh, with President Putin, but he's going to act in what he considers his interest, which is destabilizing his neighbors, invading his country, uh, his, invading his neighbors. Um, he's happy with a weaker Europe, and he'd be happy with a weaker United States. I predict he's going to test Donald Trump very early, whether it's a, a fake towards uh, Lithuania or another Baltic state or challenging NATO sometime. And I think what Donald Trump will find out when reality hits his rhetoric is that President Putin will not work towards our interest. And there's going to be an early, early problem with that. Um, I think within his first month of his presidency will be tested. And you can like President Putin all you want, but you're going to have to mm -hmm. work with his actions, which are not in favor of United States interests. Nancy Soderberg, thank you for coming on. I My really pleasure. appreciate it. Very interesting to follow. Well, a story we will continue to follow in the months ahead. Look for updates anytime on the politics page of newsforjax.com.